Hey guys, it's Mike. We're back searching for World War II relics. As you can see, I'm not in the woods today. I'm sitting behind my desk editing you guys a video. Um, while making this video, I noticed that the intro I shot back there uh, wasn't real good. So uh, I thought I'd make you a new one and uh, explain to you uh, what's going on. This footage was shot a few months back. I went to, uh, to Germany together with my friends Raoul, Jeff and Patrick. And uh, we went to a place where during World War II, a massive storage facility was situated and from there on they supplied the German front lines with military equipment. Interesting place, uh, which was ransacked by the Rand Army when they took over back in 45, but they didn't take everything. There's still a lot of things to be found there, beautiful World War II relics, as you can see in this video, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Well, the detector is pretty much useless here, but uh, so we're just poking around, looking around, and uh, in literally like within 10 minutes, this is what we came up with. The, if I'm not mistaken, Losantin bottles to uh, decontaminate in case of a chemical attack. Part of the gas mask uh, set. Uh, that's the orange thingies in my hand. And in the middle there, there's this little capsule and that was used for the chemical detector if there was a chemical attack they would use the chemical detector put a couple of these things ampoules in there and they uh, could uh, identify what kind of uh, chemical was used on them what kind of chemical attack it was was going on uh, Raul found a different one right there black the black one yeah with the black striping so that was for a different kind of chemical attack to to, 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 to to determine a different kind of, different kind of chemical attack um, so yeah already uh, we've been doing good by the way Raul there on the ground you can see let me point with my feet a uh, piece of blue oh you also found some gas mask eyes but let me just put it down maybe you're not understand what I'm saying but this is part of a of some German sunglasses from back in the days. And uh, these are scattered around here too. I found those last time as well. So yeah, after like 10 minutes, we're already doing very good. And uh, Rose is snapping some nice pictures for his yeah. Instagram account. And right after I stopped filming, uh, Jeff found this gas mask filter, which is a cool find. And he shouted out, hey, I think I found an intact bottle. Oh no, it's not. It's not? Oh, that's too bad. But it's still a nice find with the top still on there, right? Yeah. It's the first one. Yeah, with a little rope attached to it. So the, can I just... I was fooled by it. Yeah, I can imagine that. But that's okay. You know, it's a nice find. It's still a nice find. And we'll find an intact one, no problem. Jeff just came bringing this to show me. Nice part of a vehicle part or a weapon part, big weapon part, as you can see. And also found a gas mask, some sign, which is uh, the best uh, I'm gonna show you because the back is just blank. And another gas mask, this one is just folded. But it's in pretty good condition. Yeah, it's okay. It's 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 not something you can wear, but it's the it's a better condition than the one I just found. Uh, this is some paper on the on the eyelids. Nice blue color too, and you can see the fabric here very good. That's good man, good find. Patrick told me this morning he'd been digging here and he found some good stuff. So I thought why not continue what he started. Um, and yeah, actually very good finds coming out here. A couple of ink jars and this big old hook, two of them. And some rubber strip and now this came out. The Bakelite decontamination tablet box and uh, 
Those are nicely marked. This has a 40 on it. I'm gonna show you. See? And it's still uh, full with uh, tablets. There's also a little paper on it. There used to be. I can see some remains of that right there. Um, so I'm gonna leave it, uh, leave it closed for now. You get the idea. It's just uh, some tablets. And it's nice, always nice to find. We just uh, dug up these chemical jackets. And usually we find them in this shape, all blackened and uh, well, pretty much ruined. But this is actually a stack of them. And we already opened up it a bit. And so, we, so we discovered this. This is the, ex the uh, original, oh, right. Original material, how it looked like. This is actually in pretty good condition. You can see the stitches there. Buttons. Yeah. And the buttons are still there. And I think this was like a stack of five of them. Yeah, so it's another one. Yeah, very nice shape. Considering they uh, been laying on the surface for all those years. So I told her we'll bring one and uh, clean one in the bathtub at home. Your missus is gonna enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the whole, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. feels gummy like, yeah. so it's really like a rain coat. But um, yeah, beautiful stuff. I'm not gonna bring one, but I already have two at home, but it's very hard to clean. But uh, you're welcome to bring them if you want, Rue. Yeah. Yeah, they're very delicate. Yeah, very delicate, yeah. But very nice yeah. find. Um, we were just uh, having another look at these and Ro actually found a nice marking. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera picks that up, by the way. I think it does, yeah. Nice marking. And uh, I wanted to show you that uh, as well. Yeah. We just found three of these, what we, I think, are um, MG34 bolts. Found these in the past here as well, and uh, that's why I recognize them. Um, but yeah, three pieces of them. Not too bad, huh? Just another shot how weird this place is. Jeff is digging here. And look what comes popping up, all these stacks of gas masks, eyepieces, the plastic lenses they could change. Uh, and also a couple of bolts, right? You found some more bolts here? Yeah. I think um, almost 10 now. 10 and we got 10 now, okay. Those uh, MG bolts we, I just showed you. And what is that right there? Uh, well, I don't know. Digging away as we do, and we find a lot of the exact same items, you know, concentrated in uh, in one pit. I just showed you the the gas mask eyepieces, and we decided to uh, to carry on a bit to see what comes out. Just to show you that it's coming out in the stacks. I was just demonstrating uh, how much uh, of the good ones we found so far. And I'm uh, gonna bring a nice big stack to send out to my patrons. They're always nicely marked, these ones, so uh, I'll send out the best to them. And uh, if you're interested, uh, go check out my Patreon website. The link is below. In this very hot and infested, mosquito infested and fly infested forest, where we just made a huge discovery. And uh, it's always good to see someone else dig, so that's why I keep on talking to you, so I have a reason not to dig. <laughs> um, but yeah, interesting, uh, interesting uh, object, especially uh, consider uh, it has like minecart wheels. 
we're puzzled about this. And uh, even Patrick is all puzzled about this behind me. And uh, well, we're gonna just wait to see. Wait. What, <laughs> <laughs> what, what Raoul makes of this. I can go on for hours, Raoul, and talking, uh, no problem. <laughs> And we decided to give up on it because it actually is a mining cart. Um, we didn't know that there was probably some mine nearby. Maybe some coal mine or something. But um, yeah, the, 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 the flies and the mosquitoes and the, the heat is just uh, breaking us up to, uh, to exca excavate this uh, entirely. But it is cool, but the side is uh, well, cut open or something. I don't know what's going on there, but... It is a cool find. That's the first uh, row. Finding a mining cart in that. <laughs> yeah, the last hour. In, <laughs> somewhere in the middle of the forest, yeah. Yeah, that's the weirdest, but hey, still a nice find. So we moved spots again, and this time uh, Patrick took us on a, a bit of an adventure because uh, he said, uh, he growled something and he said, I'll take it a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you did. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that. He did. Um, let me just show you what we're facing with. This is uh, like a trash dump from back in the days. Uh, some uh, some barracks were uh, positioned here nearby. And uh, well, basically people have been here before. We're not the first one, as you can see. But uh, yeah, all these porcelain bits and uh, well, Jeff just is digging right there and he found another one of these. So that's good. And then there's actually another one lying here, which is unfortunately busted. Um, but yeah, just look at the mess people made and leaving behind here. And if there are more of those, but these were burst. So I guess other diggers said, meh, we don't want those. But oh, please man, look at this. It's just mad. But the good thing is uh, we have much mosquitoes here, but no freaking horse flies. And um, yeah, the weather is better a bit here. It's a bit cooler down here. So uh, I guess we'll stick around here for a while. And our, well, my first piece of porcelain with a nicely marked big fat swastika on there and a nice eagle. That's good, that's good. We need to find more. Amidst all the rubbish, uh, we will find, manage to find something cool. I'll, I'll show, yeah, we can do that. Oh, okay, yeah. we can do it right now. Light switch. It says Licht, means light in German. Um, let me get rid of this mosquito. Let me just put this in my bag oh, for now. Oh, okay, yeah. you got it, okay. And also he found this little jar and it seems to be painted on the inside. Um, it's like a landscape or something, but is it just because the fluid is um, shifted from the inside or really maybe know. somebody really painted the inside of a Landscape. Should we put, uh, make it open? Yeah, please. Let's see. Let me just get the mosquito off my ear right now. Yeah. There it goes. Nah, it's just shifted, but it's still. It looks fun on the outside, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it at a landscape, okay? That's more. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you sniffed at it. Yeah. Holy. Man. It's oil based. Should, yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. do that. And also, you found something cool, right? When yeah. you got here, this box. Man, I enjoyed those finds. Leo Creme. It's also wow. The back is really cool as well. It's a little bit aside. Did you, did you open it? Yeah. Uh, nothing inside? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, there's so cream inside. Okay. Yeah. Difficult to open it, but yeah, but it is cool. Uh, nice box intact. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Probably shoe polish or cream or something. Yeah. Maybe some skin cream or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> no, the, the mosquitoes are already eating me. I don't want to yeah. rash. The, <laughs> besides all the mosquito bumps I already have. Yeah, but what a weird place again. And again, it's, this is not us. We didn't do that, but there were people here before and uh, they made a big mess out of it. But uh, weird place. Let me give you a roundup what we found so far because I'm basically done. Jeff and Ru can't stop, but uh, I'm, I'm beat. Um, many, many, many of these Bakelite decontamination tablet boxes Always nice to find, a nice cup. It's not marked the way uh, I hoped it was, but still in one piece, so I'm bringing that. A nice uh, jar. Uh, let me see if I can show you the, the top. That's nice, right? Nicely decorated. So I'm bringing that. A very dandy piece of a comb, I think. I think it's the bottom half of a comb. You can open it or use the be opened like a stiletto knife. This is the bottom half. Look at that design, right? Um, a lot of porcelain pieces. This has the German evil cross on there. But we found more, and I showed you that before, but this is what we're gonna bring. These are the nice pieces, nicely marked pieces. And uh, also uh, a lion's head soup terrain bowl, which we find every time we're searching in dumps. So, uh, yeah, that is good. You're done, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> if Jeff's done, then it's basically done. He's like the, the Duracell bunny rabbit. Yeah, we're beat and uh, we're getting sick and tired of these mosquitoes. Um, thank you, my dear patrons. Your names are right here and here. And also, I need to do a special thank you to Otto, Otto Bang. I'm sorry, Otto, I forgot you last time to mention you. Uh, uh, Otto did a very generous and uh, uh, nice donation. And he also sent me some things from Civil War relic things. So thank you so much, Otto. I uh, appreciate it. Um, thank you Jeff and Raul uh, for uh, another great adventure. Thank you guys. Thank you Mike. You're welcome. And uh, thank you Patrick, he's not here anymore, but thank you Patrick for uh, guiding us uh, to these beautiful spots again. And last but not least, thank you as a viewer. Uh, because of you I keep on making videos and struggle through days like this. But it was worth it. We did good, right? Yeah. We did good. You and me, we're a good team. Thank you guys. Take care, stay safe, and until uh, next time. Bye bye.